Hi friends, it's Miss Renee. I'm getting ready to sweep my kitchen floor. My dog tracked in a bunch of dirt today and she's been shedding fur and my floor is a mess and it needs to be swept. So I thought I would show you how so that you could help out at home. You can ask the grown up at your house if you could sweep the floor and give it a try. So I want you to think there are two things that you need to sweep the floor. Do you know what they are? I'm gonna show you. You need a broom and you need a dustpan to pick up the dirt when you're done. So let's get started. When you sweep, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put my dustpan on top of my garbage so it's out of the way. When you sweep, you hold the broom with two hands and you put one down lower and one up at the top. It makes it easier to pull the dirt towards you. And I like to start at one side of the room and then sweep that dirt to the middle and then go to the other end and sweep that dirt to the middle and make a pile in the middle of the room. That makes it easier to clean up when you're done. So let's go. I'm gonna go to this side, one hand down low and one at the top, and I'm gonna pull towards me. You have to make sure the broom stays on the floor. I'm gonna pull all this dirt towards the middle of the room. Always keeping one hand down low and one hand at the top. And then I look, I'm making a pile already. And I'm gonna keep adding dirt to the pile. You gotta get into every corner and up against every wall. And you just pull, you put the broom out and then you pull it towards you and it brings the dirt in. Out, pull it towards you. And I'm gonna keep going. That's the middle of my room. So I'm gonna leave my dirt pile there Keep sweeping all around. You gotta make sure I got all the dirt. Look at all that dirt that was on my floor from my dog. Now I'm gonna go over here to this end. There's the dog that caused the dirt. And I keep pulling, always keeping two hands on the broom. There's not as much at this end. My pile is smaller. And then I'm gonna pull this dirt over to my other pile that I made, making sure I got all the spots. You can switch your hands if they get tired that way. It doesn't matter as long as one's down and one's up. It's hard to sweep. It doesn't work very well with two at the top. You need one down a little bit lower. pretty good. I think I got all the dirt and there's my pile. Sometimes it floats away. It sticks to the broom. I'm going to get my dustpan. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. Now with your dustpan, you're going to put the edge on the floor next to the pile, not in the pile, next to it. And you're going to, you don't want to put it flat like that. You want to hold it up a little bit. And then with your other hand, you're going to hold way down low. I like to rest the handle of the broom on my shoulder. And then you're just gonna pull the dirt into the dustpan. And then back up a little bit because some of it goes under it. And pull it into the dustpan. And sometimes you have to do that a couple times before you get it all because it gets stuck or it misses. There's a dustpan full of dirt. Then the last thing I have to do is go dump this in my garbage can. I'm gonna open the garbage, dump it in carefully so it doesn't fall back on my clean floor. And that's it, that's how you sweep the floor. So give it a try at home and help out your family. Remember, I've told you before, it's important that everybody helps with the jobs that need to be done around the house. That's what it is to be a part of a family. So go sweep a dirty floor and I'll see you later, bye.